it's Brian. This is Nick here. And today we're trying flavor ice marshmallow squeeze candy. Now Nick, we both have some backstory, I guess as it were, when it comes to flavor ice. Now for me, flavor ice is most known as a, a, a popsicle. Now I don't know if this is strictly a Midwestern thing or if this expands uh, across the country and maybe further, but in, where we grew up, if somebody said, hey, get him a popsicle. Get them a, you know, they were talking about flavor ice. They yeah. maybe not used it by name, but 90% yeah, of the, the time. Tube, like the tube popsicles. The long not, tubes. Not I the mean, stick popsicles, but the tube popsicles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and another thing people think uh, no flavor ice for is some people, it's it's kind of, uh, you can get it as a Kool-Aid style, not actual Kool-Aid since that's a brand name. And something a lot of people actually get confused with is uh, there was a cult leader back in the day. His name was Jim Jones. And oh, he, was yeah. the, uh, he was the guy who ran that Jonestown. Uh -huh, which, yeah. uh, you know, it was basically as a cult, so just this guy with a lot of crazy ideas, you know, people to follow him. And people always get confused because they always say, you know, don't drink the Kool-Aid, you know, don't follow the Oh, pack. I've heard that expression many times. And, you and the thing the is, they weren't drinking Kool-Aid, they were actually drinking Flavor-Aid. And you can look it up, it's an actual fact. Oh, wow. And the thing is, I'm not sure if it is grape-flavored, but it just, you know, we'll just say it's grape. Just to yeah, add for, a the, bit of for the hell of it. But um, I do remember when I saw that for the first time, I did, I did find that a little interesting side note. Now, this comes in four different flavor varieties. I chose grape just kind of on a whim, something a little bit different. Um, the packaging is interesting. Um, there's purple marshmallows. It is a marshmallow squeeze candy. So you've got kind of a nice hue, kind of violet. Um, and you've got these really kind of succulent looking grapes. So whoever worked on the, the package design, graphic design, thumbs up, you know, your college money was well spent. Um, the other weird thing though, Nick, and I'm kind of, maybe it seems like yeah. I'm putting off tasting this, but the texture of this is is super unique and weird. It's marshmallowy, but it's also very moist. It looks like it's alive inside there. It's yeah. very hard to kind of explain. Maybe if I can, you can hear it kind of, oh my God. It looks like a bad decision. <laughs> I'm gonna, this might be the money shot, uh, but we're gonna meet our friend here in a second. Oh, oh it's wow. like pulsating. It smells, it looks like pre-chewed gum. Yeah, it does. Uh, oh, that texture is... Oh, man. <laughs> the flavor's not too bad, and I don't know if it's just a mental kind of connotation, but it kind of tastes like flavorized popsicles. Like, I can kind of... Maybe that's a mental kind of connection, but that texture... You know, it's so weird. It's just, and I gotta say this because I don't know how long this has been sitting in your trunk, but maybe just <laughs> for the day. But and one thing people don't know, for the past week it's been like 85, 90 degrees. It's been hot as hell, and I, with this, with the way that this tastes, I'm just so thankful that it's in mid 60s today. Because if it's any warmer, I might have thrown up. It, it's good. So it's you just, did a really good job of concealing it though, because I'm kind of like, I'm sure you at home saw my face got a little sour, kind of puckered up. I didn't really like what I. It, you kind of, you were a bit more stone. It's I'm good. I'm surprised, in fact. Actually, and you know, it just not dawned on me what the texture is like. It tastes like, uh, like if you're eating your Lucky Charms and you let your uh, your marshmallows sit in the milk for a little while, it sort of has that consistency. I yeah. mean, not, like, and I mean for a little while, <laughs> like let them sit in there for like an hour and then try to eat the marshmallows. I mean, I remember back in the day, and I don't know if they still make this, a squeezable bubble gum. I think Bazooka made it, and it was yeah. kind of a weird, coarse, I wet texture. I haven't seen while, yeah. But even that was preferable to this. That wasn't, you know, that weird, but this... It's mushy and kind of um, it, it, flimmy. It tastes like just... you're eating something you're not supposed to be eating. Oh, God. Oh, wait, we got two more guys that are yet oh, to wait, try this. Just save them some. <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> All right. Okay, I guess we're going to try this flavor ice marshmallow stuff now. You want the first gobble down? Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me, yeah. The hell? I mean, I, what? <laughs> it, it, it's it, a great marshmallow. That's all I can really. It didn't look like that. Though. It looks like more like um, like a, it's like a melted popsicle or like something blended like that. But no, it's that was weird. It's good but weird. <laughs> okay, this. This is like going to the dentist and having grape fluoride put in your mouth. Only wow. it's not going to make you sick. Hopefully. I don't mind um, it. I don't I don't think I would want to eat it all the time. I mean, the texture is enough to kind of put it on my do not eat list. The, the flavor wasn't yeah. exceptionally bad. Yeah, flavor is fine, but the texture is just like... 
kind of wet marshmallows. It's just not a real, not something you encounter yeah, every day, probably for good reason. It's kind of slimy. Look yeah. It's consistency. And watch, watch. You can't get it to break off. Oh! Oh, there we go. That was just unnatural. Like my health insurance just went up after eating that. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian and today I was at the Fresh Market and I found this! Oh my god! It's like a mutant muffin. It's so green. I mean, Owen, come on in here, buddy. Come try this out. Um, and, you know, I, just on looks alone, I had to buy it instantly. I thought of mutagen, like the Ninja Turtles. I thought about the Toxic Avenger, the Swamp Thing, all those great green things. Actually, I also think of Sesame Street for some reason when I see this. I don't know. Hey, Owen, do you want to try a green muffin? Owen, what color is this? <laughs> well, we'll see if he's a fan. Now, it, it actually does have a, a name, a flavor. This is, um, uh... Hi, Mom. Me? Why it? <laughs> this is a, the, a pistachio muffin. Um, I like pistachio just about anything. I mean, regular pistachios are good. Um, pistachio ice cream's good. Uh, where do you even start on this thing? God, it's so in the center. It's just, like, unreal how green it is. Oh, it smells good. Really fragrant. Owen, you want to try a green muffin? You like it? Uh, he seems conflicted. He's more of a fan of fresh fruit, so I, I can't knock him for that. What'd you find? A peach? This is good. It's so bizarre. I don't think I could recommend it to just anyone. I mean, you have to really probably like pistachios because this is definitely um, unique. It tastes like pistachio ice cream if you've had it. Come on, that frame of reference. Hey, you ate the rest of it. You like it? You want one more? All right, this kid's got good taste. All right, thanks for watching. 